Hey, happy holidays, South Jersey. It's meteorologist Joe Martucci. I'm just going to start off with the top and say, no, we are not getting a white Christmas in this corner of the state. But some good news. I think we're going to be mostly dry for our holiday weekend. Let's take a look at our forecast and radar. This is Friday at 4 o'clock. A couple of rain showers moving through early in the morning. But notice those blues. That's where the snow is in the northern part of the state. And we'll see that as we go into our Friday morning. They could get a tenth or a two of an inch. Not that much. Most of our day Friday is dry here. So good for church services. Good for last minute holiday shopping. Good for just traveling out and about. Santa's looking good too. Is he traveling around? No problems as we go into our Friday night. Christmas Day itself, we're going to start to see some rain showers working during the morning, but they're going to move to the north fairly quickly, and I do believe in our corner of the state, Ocean, Atlantic, Cape May, Cumberland, we're talking about a mostly or even completely dry Christmas day. Sunday at 1 a.m., we're going to be talking about a cold front that comes through. I think it's a dry cold front. It does look to me that most of that moisture now looks to be wrung out. I know I gave the potential for a shower before. doesn't look like that anymore. I think we're just going to see a strong northerly wind as we go into Sunday, though that cold air doesn't come yet. Christmas and snow just don't go together here in our corner of the state in southeastern New Jersey. It's only happened five times in history. And at the marina, where records go back to the 1870s, it's only happened in 3%. Of our December 25th. So uh, Martin Luther King weekend. President's weekend. Those are more of our holidays for snow. Not Christmas Day. Here's our travel forecast. I-95 looking pretty good. I've been saying that for days. And I continue to say that as we go into our weekend here. So if you're traveling on the East Coast. All good. If you're traveling to the West Coast. That's where we're seeing problems. Rain, wind, and snow. Make sure you have a backup plan. And make sure to check your app. Go to your carrier's app and just make sure you're all good there here's our friday morning numbers we're gonna have a southwesterly wind so temperatures are already going to be rising early on friday morning and they continue to rise into the morning showers around until about 9 a.m then for friday itself blend of clouds and sun i think it's a pretty dry day for us though you wear this sweater you're going to be all good here i don't think you need any heavy coats for our friday going into friday night Santa's going to be coming down the chimney if he is coming down the chimney to your house. Temperatures falling through the evening. Then we rise overnight. So no Santa Claus cold for our Friday night. Temperatures will be in the low to mid 40s early on our Saturday. And we're talking about the potential for a rain shower. Yes, but I think most of us are going to be pretty dry throughout our day. Santa, as he comes from the North Pole on Friday evening, he has some warm air too. Only negative six at the North Pole. Not that bad for them. And we have a south wind for them. But here's the thing. At the North Pole, all winds are from the south because you can't go any further north than the North Pole. For our Saturday, just a low shower risk, mainly after 12 o'clock. I mean, it's going to be like this. During the morning hours, it's maybe a 20% risk and a 30% risk during the afternoon. I think by and large, you're going to be fine. Temperature staying mild. Northerly wind, 15 to 20 miles an hour for our Sunday. But despite the northerly wind, we're going to be staying pretty dry. Now, as we go into our last week of 2021, I think we're going to be fairly mild. We do get a little bit of a cool down on Monday. But you see these reds here. Those are temperatures in the mid to upper levels of our atmosphere being thicker than average. And when the atmosphere is thicker, it can hold more air, warmer air expands. So it's typically warmer. And we'll continue that into Wednesday and eventually by Friday, starting to get some of those blues working in. That's a thinner atmosphere with a trough in the mid levels. Thinner atmosphere, colder air there. Let's take a look at our inland seven-day forecast. A lot of 50s around for our seven-day. Really only one day in the 40s. That's on Monday. Next week, while it is mild, it is going to be on the unsettled side. There are going to be some rain showers Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I do believe the good news is, though, we are going to be talking about mostly dry days there. And over at the shore, temperatures stay above freezing in each of the next six nights. Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I'll be back with you next week with the latest in South Jersey weather. In the meanwhile, you can go to our website right here, pressfac.com slash weather, or give me a follow on social media. Just hit 7,000 on Facebook. Thank you to everybody for that. Happy holidays again.